Um, I did a video on different kinds of handgun holsters, and I'm going to do a video now showing you how to draw a pistol or a revolver from these holsters. Um, I'm just going to do three of them now. I think the outside of the waistband holster is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I'm just going to do ankle holster, shoulder holster, and inside the waistband holster for y'all. Uh, before anyone sends me a comment, all these guns have been unloaded. I've checked everything beforehand, and so don't send me anything about how I have to show how the guns unloaded because they are. Um, the first, the first uh, holster we're going to show you is shoulder holster, and um, usually shoulder holsters is worn under, worn under your weak hand side. I'm right-handed, so it's under my left shoulder, under my left arm here and the way you draw it is in a threat situation you want to um, go to your handgun stance that you would normally go to which for me would be my left foot forward okay so I go left foot forward then I would throw the jacket back that covers the holster jacket or sport coat or whatever back like this as I throw it back reach across my body and then draw the gun out and now I'm good to go like that All right a little bit faster we'll just show you how it's drawn you Sitting there, threat presents itself, throw it back, draw the gun out. That's how you draw from a shoulder holster. There's a couple other ways to draw from it. If you know a threat's coming, you can put your hand under your coat and have your hand on your gun. It's always good to have your hand there. And if something happens, you can draw the gun out then like that. Okay, you have to throw the coat back then. Or if your strong hand is disabled or being held or something like that, a good thing about a shoulder holster is you can draw with your weak hand. I'll show you that again. Your right hand's out here like this, draw with your weak hand from the shoulder holster. Shoulder holsters are good because they're comfortable to wear, they can seal pretty well as you can see under this coat, you don't really even see it. Second kind of holster we're going to talk about is inside the waistband. Inside the waistband holster tucks inside your pants and is covered by your shirt as you can see here. You can't really see anything that I'm wearing. I'm wearing a pistol underneath the t-shirt here and it's completely concealed. This jacket is almost unnecessary. But I'll show you even if you were wearing, wearing a coat how to draw from inside the waistband holster. What you want to do is once again go into your stance, put your your left foot forward like this, reach up with your shirt, reach up and grab the bottom of your t-shirt, draw it upwards, draw the weapon and come forward like this. Okay? So it's gonna lift your shirt up when you do it. Alright? Here's how it is. Pretty fast right here. Like that. Okay? If you need to sidestep in the situation, it's just, it works the same way. You just step and then draw, okay? If you are forward thinking and something's going to happen, you are wearing a coat, you can always tuck your shirt behind the gun like that. It makes it even faster. Throw the jacket back, draw the weapon, okay? That's inside the waistband holster. I wear mine about 3 o'clock on the strong side. Some people wear it a little further back, 4 o'clock, 4.30. I like it right here works pretty well for me and it's a pretty fast draw it's comfortable for me to wear and it's very concealable third one we're going to talk about is ankle carry obviously right now I'm not wearing long pants normally they would cover the ankle holster up but for this demonstration it's going to work just fine what you do for ankle carry is instead um, it's similar to the last two but it's a little bit different like I said last two put your left foot forward In this one you're going to do almost like a lunge as your left foot for goes forward, you're going to dip down, unholster the weapon, and draw it forward. That's the fastest way to draw from the ankle. Okay? A lot of times in movies, they step down like this and reach to the side. That's all right and all, but if you step forward like this, you can always draw your pants up using your weak hand. So the cuff of your pants comes up, and you're able to draw the weapon. I don't like it because it's kind of awkward, but it can be fast with practice. And if ankle carry is your only option, I'd say go with that. But, like I said, it can be pretty fast. You can come down like this, draw the weapon out. Kind of awkward for me. But, like I said, with practice, ankle carry can be useful and be very practical. So, like I said, try these things out. See which one works best for you, whether it be a shoulder rig, inside the waistband rig or an ankle rig, or even outside the waistband. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, send me a comment.